What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do another Phantom Cube draft. And, uh... We're going to hope we can find more opponents, but, like, it was actually kind of fun last time we did it. Black Lotus is a card that you kind of want to start with. So I'm going to take the blackest of Lotuses. Probably Splinter Twin. Sneak Attack and Kiki Jiki in the same pack. Luminous Brood Moth, that's interesting. Waker of Waves, that's interesting. I mean, I think it's just Sneak Attack Kiki Jiki, right? Okay, okay. Nothing combolicious in here. Kind of like Manalik. I think Manalik is fine. I mean, we're obviously going to lean towards blue since we have a Splinter Twin and Kiki Jiki. I could see Hollowed Fountain being the pick here. Keeps us open. Golos is okay. Could also just be Karn. Karn is just strong. Yeah, let's take a Karn. Mana Crypt. And a channel? Jeez. I mean, we're definitely taking Mana Crypt. Love it. Is this Ponder? I can see it being Ponder. Helps us find our things. Sure. Mox Emerald. You could channel Fireball. It's true. I'll take the Mox. I mean, it's just colorless right now, but it's still Mox, so, like, doesn't matter. Do you know Wheel of Fortunes are going for, like, $200 in paper? That shit's wild. Um, I think... Oh, it could just be... It could be crap. I, I don't like Ancestral Visions. I don't want to cast a green card just because I have a Mox uh, Emerald. Okay, Mox Ruby's pretty good in a second channel. That's interesting. Yep, on color Mox. Sounds good. Still no no Splinter Twin pieces, though. Hmm. It could just be Time Twister. <laughs> We're not taking... We didn't take Crassus. Why would we take Channel? Oh, man. I think it's actually Time Twister because we are on... Uh on color to draw or to open uh like narset and that's pretty strong so i'll take a time twister <laughs> second mana crypt jace the mind sculptor <laughs> this format's wild dude oh lord i mean we're definitely taking second mana crypt i guess hope we don't die no second mox ruby okay still no splinter twin pieces <laughs> oh god <laughs> This is wild, dude. Oh my god. All the decks have to be like this is the thing, right? It could be a second sneak attack, but again, we don't have anything to sneak attack yet. I'm hoping we can get some things. Uh, Steam Vents and True Name Nemesis seem great. Sundering Titan could be fine. I think we definitely want the Steam Vents. I think True Name is just good enough as a as a guy. Still no Splinter Twin pieces, which is super kind of so kind of weird. Hmm. Sneaking in Sphinx isn't very good. It's just six damage. Plus, like we're never gonna cast it. Waterfront Bouncer is interesting. I think it's just other Ponder. Maybe Pyroclasm? You think we're being cut? Yeah, probably not. Stifle. Interesting choice. Icy Manipulator, interesting choice. Mere Battle Sphere seems pretty good with double sneak attack. And also lots of ramp. Icy Manipulator is interesting. I think it might just be Dire Fleet Daredevil. I think Daredevil's probably really good in a format where people have so many chances to open up Ancestral Recalls and Time Walks. Arcane Denial. Fires of Invention. 
We got six packs. I think we're definitely taking Snapcaster here. We can open some things. We'll see. Have double ponder at Mana Leak. So, Electro Dominance not terrible with Ancestral. I don't know what how good Fires would be in this format. I actually kind of like Electro Dominance. Yeah, he does. It's true. He does love it. Mana Drain. Okay, well, that's an easy pick. Lutri. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast a copy target instant spell, you control instant sorcery, you may choose a target. Sure. It's just Mana Leak. Or Mana War, rather. Chris, we have not seen a single, a single twin creature, unfortunately. I do like Flame Tongue Kavu. I'll take the Mana War. I think it's better for our cards. <laughs> mana Drain number two. <laughs> and, and a Mana Vault. Jesus. Yeah, we're just taking the Mono Mana Drains here. Jeez. Time Spiral. We already have Time Twister in the sideboard. It's probably just Mana Vault, right? Second time twister. Still no still no twin creatures, and we have 15, 16, four this and three more packs left. So I think Bone Crusher Giant is fine. Do we have any way to splash a black other than Lotus? Not really, no. Condescend is probably fine, right? You like Caracas? I'm not a big Caracas fan. <laughs> Mox Ruby number three. Oh god. Actually Urza's pretty good as far as threats go. We don't really have an Urza deck though. We don't really, it sucks because we don't have a sneak attack deck or a Splinter Twin deck yet, so we're like missing a bunch of playables. Huh. I, I think we want win conditions more than frantic search. Manager number three is sneak attack number three and mirror I think it's I think it's definitely managerain number three. Oh god, that's just so nuts, dude. Yeah, I think it's Battlesphere and Mana Drain here. Plus they kind of go together. <sighs> Play set of mana drains. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna live the mana drain dream. That's insane. Is it Mox here? This is our last pack. Jesus. It sucks because Sneak Attack... Splinter Twin's not even good here. Neither is Sneak Attack, really. God. That's disappointing. I think you really have to have like some sort of level of... of discipline here to not just take all the Moxes. That's rough, dude. Oh, I guess we can actually play Karn with four mana drains, and we can take out, like, the Splinter Twin and the Kiki Jiki. I don't even love the sneak attacks, to be honest with you. <laughs> this deck is ridiculous. <laughs> Quad mana drain. Double sneak attack, and like we only have like mere battle sphere to actually sneak into play. It's just so bad. Theoretically, we could just play like. We could play Time Twister. We could cut both sneak attacks. And then with all of this nonsense. I don't even know if we're going to play the Emerald. And then we can just play enough mana to 8, 9. Double mana crypt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 7. Oh, we forgot the Mana Vault. Probably 
professional streamer claims Mox Typhoon is better, or Shark Typhoon is better than Mox Emerald. Not the plague. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Kid Cabbage, thank, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. So this is 8, 9, and this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which I think is fine. We're very heavy. We want to have double blue for these quad mana drains. Oh, how is that a thing? Wow, that's ridiculous. Do we just try it like this? 11 lands, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think we just want one more land, to be honest. And cut, like, Electro Dominance. I mean, this is actually a win condition if we have enough mana for it. That's hilarious. I'll just... We'll see how it goes. Alright, we're back. We found a match. I paused it. And now we're doing it. Kiori. How many... Let's see if how many trophies you got. I don't know if any. Let's do it. Uh, no, uh, no mana drain, but we do have a condescend. Which could find us things. Okay. Okay, that's fascinating to me. Do we turn one Urza? It's gotta be turn one Urza, right? Push it to the limit. Walking on the biscuit's edge. This is where they go channel. <laughs> channel destroy us. Yep, here we go. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Oh yeah. Crack that. Okay, it's not channel. I'm game. Mana crypt. Oh man, drain. Shit. Well, let's hit up Oko. Oh, we get to keep a mana drain up? Jeez. Okay, Wasteland's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Two. Sullivan carry added. I'm going to do it. I, the thing is, like, we have to not give them a bunch of blockers for, for Oko. We get two mana here. Dun, dun. We use the steam vent so we can still keep up condescend with our creatures. Or with our basic lands, rather. Because if they do wasteland this, they have fewer lands, so condescend's even better in that situation. Got that pressure. Got that pressure. 
Create a food token. You got it. Oko's pretty unbelievably good. No idea how this thing got through R&D. I read that Oko got through R&D because they didn't actually anticipate people using his plus one ability on other people's creatures. <laughs> So they were like, if you're just making a 3-3 army, that's fine. But if you, we never considered you to invalidate other people's threats. Plus one, turn a gristle brand into a 3-3. I don't know how they didn't see that, because it's like literally the most popular mode on the card. Yep, that's fine. It's almost like I did that on purpose. Oh my god. One time. Time twister. I mean, I might as well tap down their one land so that, you know, they don't get to play it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> put them on, I'll put both on top and see if we draw either of them. <sighs> well, that's vomitous. So we get to kill Oko and we get to untap with double mana drains. Oh my god. So we can go four, five. Seven, kill the Oko. You deal two to Oko, which means you only need to take three. You can use this to keep up one mana drain. We definitely want to keep up two mana drains. Um, yeah, this is fine. Attack Oko, attack your face. Keeping up two mana drains is pretty ridiculous. I mean, we don't have a ton to do with mana, but we can always just activate Urza, which is just fine. Out here in the salt fields, I fight for my deals. Magical wasteland. It's a magical wasteland. You know how we do. You got it. You got it, Rashad and Port. So he did nothing. Just the teenage wasteland. Lost the flip. I didn't even care. Oh wow, that's humongous. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yikes. Jesus, can you imagine if we do that with mana drain up? Alright. I don't know what they could have here that can get through double mana drain with only five, seven mana. Sure. I fought for my meals. And we win. Top top deck mana crypt. Seems good. Teenage Wasteland. Um keep. Mock Sapphire means turn one Urza. Thank you. Lotus, turn one Urza, maybe. Puffin stuff. Thank you for, for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, just a regular sub, not even a resub. I lied. I'm a liar. Really appreciate it, though. Thank you, my dude.
Okay, they get a free turn. We don't have the shields up. Okay, this is actually fine. Do we get to play Urza and keep up Manager next turn? I'm pretty sure we do, which is pretty insane. <laughs> oh boy, this format is something else, man. Yup, that's pretty good. This deck is doing much better than our previous deck, even though there's only round one. Reported to the FBI. <laughs> On the bright side, if you're using NordVPN, which you can get for 68% off a two-year subscription and one month free by going to nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore, uh, your IP address will be covered. So when anyone, whenever anyone reports you to the FBI, you know, it increases your odds of, of safety is what I'm saying here. So that's good. That's what you want. So when you're when you're avoiding the FBI, you can also watch uh, region locked content on things like Netflix or Hulu. So this guy is owning his opponents. Yeah, we're big fans. Um, tap and untapped this one. Tap and untapped. Look at like you. We're, we're tapping. We're tapping Black Lotus to add one blue with Urza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I fought for my meals. Arctic Avenger, I want to thank you for getting Teenage Wasteland stuck in my head. Grim Monolith. More like Grim Mona shit. Tails never fails. It failed. <sighs> Good gravy, dude. Wow. Four, five. Are you kidding with these fucking draws, dude? That's insane. It's a teenage wasteland. I guess we'll attack for a lot right now. That was ridiculous. So I'm tempted to play this, but then they can just strip mine our one land. I guess we'd have to. I guess we just tap Lotus at that point, right? Like, does it really matter? Bam. Bam, bam. It's a teenage wasteland. They have two cards in hand. We can counter one of them. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan here. Tails never fails? Tails, you failed me twice? You have failed me for the last time. Guys, can you look at our board state right now? It's pretty impressive. You got it. How much damage can I deal with Electro Dominance? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can deal 8 with this. 9. Let's keep up Mana Drain. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can deal 7. I think we'll just wait. We'll let him tap out. That's insane. That's insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's this going to be? What's it going to be? Okay, well, I'll just kill you in response. Uh, choose you. One, two, three. Nah, I'm good. 
Got him with the dominance. Our deck is pretty bananas. That's pretty cool. Oh, we did it. Oh, the same opponent. I don't think this hand's even very good. Two moxes. Yeah, we're just going to mulligan it. This is better. Um, let's get rid of Dire Fleet Daredevil. Turn to Urza again? Oh, they're going to hate us. They're going to hate us. Hate us because they ain't us. A library on turn one, huh? Okay. Draw a card on turn one. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, Mox Sapphire. Oh, Mox Emerald. Mox Sapphire again. Turn one out, go. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Well, this was a much better opening from them than their previous attempt. If we draw a Lotus, we can play Mirror Battle Sphere, which is pretty sweet. Strip mine. Seems good. Oh boy. Well then. <laughs> Fuck. This is wild, dude. Maybe another food, okay. Tails? Three times in a row you failed me, Tails. You have failed me for the last time. Pretty good. Yeah. Heads. Oh, yeah. It's a heads kind of day, guys. Dream Nemesis just crushed this matchup. Like, they can't Oko it. We get to kill Oko next turn because they can't block it, kill it, or they can only plus two Oko. Nice. And they played a land? That's pretty sweet. Okay, cool. Oh, they played a second strip mine to kill all of our islands. I don't know why they didn't, haven't turned Oko into a... into a thing yet. Hmm. Oh, we have Electro Dominance. We just don't have any red sources. I'm gonna do this main phase because I kind of just want to not um, I want to not whiff here <laughs> if I hit a land rather is what I'm saying I don't want to hit a land and then not be able to play it yeah that's actually one step closer to the dominance plus 
count those those G yards out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're just activating Urza. Nope, they're playing Worm Coil Engine. It's pretty good. We're just gonna chump block here. Red source? Could be a red source. It is a red source and a mana drain. So we have one, two, three, four mana. We can deal two to something. It's not great, but it is a free ancestral vision. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. What was the next card we're drawing? Mana Drain. So we could actually Dominance for zero, counter something, play Mere Battle Sphere. That actually seems pretty good. No, we can't. We can't do that. Damn it. We're like one shy. That's really annoying. We do get to... Like, there's no reason for this to be... Done. Because if there's like a mox underneath or any free artifact, then we do get to do it. We do not get to do it. Um. Yeah, we can just pass here. Jack Crow, glad to see you, buddy. We're gonna block like this because then it prevents their six life gain. Hmm. Heads. Yeah, we're winning. This is the gift of the dream home in my imagination. Thank you. They didn't even activate Urza? That's weird. One, two, three, four, five. I almost activated it twice. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. Really appreciate you, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Oh, that's unfortunate. One, two, three. So one, two, three. up to speed and meme ready that's pretty hilarious uh, that's pretty hilarious so I don't think we're dead yet they have two cards we can counter one of them Urza does provide our second blue source though so yeah I don't it's, that's annoying but I don't think I really care about it Oh, wow. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you got it. Seems good. I mean, I think we're still going to die to our own Mana Vault, but Mana Crypt, rather. One, two. I guess we could sack this at some point. Heads. I'm feeling Tails, actually. It feels like this is gonna we're going to go back to basics and Tails never fails it. Uh, sure, dude. 
Nah, felt good about it. Black Lotus. Jace the Mind Sculptor. One, two, three, four, five mana. Oof. We can just play Jace Bounce this, right? Or we could draw three. Yeah, let's draw three. Let's see if we can hit Lotus. Actually, that's pretty good. So we're going to play an island. Shields are going to be down. So let's go uh, island batter's figure on top. He knows I live in none of it. He 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 does read the stream. This is actually fine. I don't care about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. Man, true name nemesis is no joke. Wow, we just get to untap. That's pretty wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our plan is to Snapcaster here. No, it's not. Well, we can Snapcaster Electro Dominance for four and then play Mana Drain, right? That's kind of cool. Ancestral Vision, sure. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems good. Uh-huh. Sure. So we know one of their cards is Warm Coil. They have Warm Coil and one other card. Six. We have six mana right now. Which is exactly the amount we need. There's <laughs> Urzing for a sword of fire and ice. <laughs> Very good. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like this is something we cannot let resolve. Oh, whatever we get, they can just get rid of, right? Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Why do they keep using City of Brass? When they have Coalition Relic. That's fascinating to me. Okay. I mean, they can still play Warm Coil here, but we can still play Battle Sphere and Bounce Warm Coil. I'm really wishing I just kept Bone Crusher trying to kill Death Rage Shaman. I 
I feel like this is going to be Warm Coral Part 2, right? <clears throat> it's my mana, and I want it now. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. They have... Okay, sure. They just want to keep up their their Rashad and Port. Oh, well, we'll go to one. Hmm. Give me that manas. Okay, three. Jace. Another mana drain. And a condescend. So, one, two. We have to crack this. So, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two to crack. I think we gotta put condescend land back. So three. We have to crack it now because otherwise they put us in a situation where in response to cracking it they can death ray shaman us and we have to crack it before our next uh our next upkeep so they're gonna tap our last island Buddy, I got Urza in play. That's that was a weird choice. Hmm. I mean, Death Ray Shaman kills us in two turns, so. Double Oko. Seems good. I mean, we're playing quad mana drain, so I guess it's hard to complain. But, you know. Oh, I always turn off our, our, our arena emotes. Like, I don't think there's anything to be gained from arena emotes. Just hit that, hit that Urza. Wow. That's real good. Real good. I mean, the thing about manager is it doesn't win you the game. Oka wins you the game. <laughs> yep. It's pretty good. So we're just dead on board to both to both Mana Crypt. Death Ride Shaman and Mirror Battle Sphere, so <laughs> that's pretty good. I guess we can bounce our own Mirror Battle Sphere if we happen to survive. Soul Ring, sure. They're just going to keep Urzing. Urzing, if you will. I like that their board got too full, so my board, like, stepped up a little bit. Sweet. Forest. Got it. We know our top card's a Condescend, and they have no cards in hand, so I'm kind of tempted to just get rid of it. Thank you! Uh, except we only have three mana. So, just kidding. <laughs> Found an unsubbed bot. Jesus. All right, heads, one. Nailed it. Dang it. Oh, Mana Vault. How much mana do I get from this? Three? Well. 
I mean, I guess they just go to you, to you, right? Is it possible for us to win here? I have my doubts. Oh, it shuffled our deck because it wasn't condescending. It wasn't because uh, of the stupid bribery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. Four, five. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well. That's fascinating. Sure, <laughs> why not? I mean, if we get Bone Crusher Giant back, like, and a, and a red source, we might actually have a game. Manager and sure. Oh my god, they actually tapped one of their guys, though. Oh my god, can we win this now? Dire Fleet Daredevil. This hand is terrible. We can bounce Worm Coil. They block here. We just have to find it. We had to find a way to deal with this guy, and that's... It's real bad. I guess we can ponder and see what we can put on top. Super Fritz, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. <gasps> Does Manowar win it for us? Jace bounce this guy, Manowar this guy. So we can put Mox Ruby on top. Bone Crusher, Manowar, Mox. No shuffle. Mox. I don't know if we win, but we're gonna do we're gonna do the damage here. Oh, you shuffle your library. I'm an idiot. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we got real excited by setting. We were like, let's set up the deck. Nope, that's not how Urza works at all. All right. Well, we tried. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. I think... Ugh, God. One, two, might as well. Uh, bump. Mm, bump. Mm, bump. <sighs> We're doing it. Oh my god. Is this still four, five, six, seventy nine, ten? I mean we can bounce this, bounce this. Keeps. Oh, we got. We have to deal with two mana crypt triggers. That's wild. That's insane. All right, pass it up. This is what it, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. We have five, so we go to one, and then we just have to survive the two mana crypt triggers. Sure. Wow, this game is wild, dude. Okay. Oh, they just now they just kill us actually because they make a they make a creature. Yep. All right, that'll do. Jeez, what a ridiculous game. KGG almost seems good. Like targeting Battlesphere or... I guess that's probably the only thing I care about targeting, right? I kind of want Pyroclasm just to deal with the stupid pawn... The uh, Deathrite Shaman. I kind of don't want Time Twister.
I'll keep this hand. Reluctantly. I mean, we definitely need more things to work this hand, but I don't know. This hand's probably actually pretty bad. Yep. One. Grim Monolith. Use it or lose it. Blue source would be absolutely fantastic. So would not losing this flip. Nice. Okay, red source. I'll take it. Sylvan carry added. Sure. I wonder if I just should just play Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, again, like, it's still early, so I don't think it... I'm not super worried about the... Blue source? Blue source, blue source. Another red source, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> so we can go red... One, two, three. Yeah, we'll just play Bone Crusher here. Man, where's the Jace the Mind Sculptor when you need it? Yep, here comes Oko no Joko. Sword seems good. Yeah. That seems really good against the blue red deck. I'm no expert, but... Yep, and we lost the flip. So you can see the exact moment where the, where the game just started tanking. Yeah. One blue source. We have Mana Drain, Mana Drain, Snapcaster, Mana Leak. Seems good. Yep, that's un, un, uh, I don't know how I'm going to beat that, to be honest with you guys. I mean, maybe like a humongous... Actually, we have a ton of artifact creatures. Yep, lost two flips in a row. Pyroclasm. It does nothing. Okay. Literally have Karn, Mirror Battlesphere, Mirror Battlesphere, tons of blue sources. Not hitting anything here. That's so creepy. Little man's trying to creep in the door. My kingdom for a, an artifact removal spell. Let me guess, you're going to tap down my island? Electro dominance. One, two, three, four. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do this for five. Yeah. I mean, all I'm, I'm all I'm concerned is doing over two, and then mana leaking or uh, mana draining, whatever they choose to play. Hoping it is a worm coil engine. We're definitely doing face one, two, three. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So now we can electro dominance for six. Seems good. I mean, if we can top take a Black Lotus, I think we actually might win the game. We'd have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It would, like, it would be almost exact. 2, 3, 4, 5. Sure. I mean, Lotus would be an insane draw here. Sure. They just play Worm Coil. Got it. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, lost the flip. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Another double blue card. Seems good. <sighs> it's annoying. So we're actually going to get three mana, so we could actually... I mean, like, it's just so funny that we have so many seven drops and things we can cast if we get a second blue, like... It's really fucking obnoxious. So we're saying one, two for this. One, two for the cost. Then we have one, two, three, four mana, so that puts them to four. have to do it like right now and we have to use one of our blue sources for it so that sucks <sighs> or one of our red sources because the alternative is using mana crypt which means you lose the mana in a main phase yeah that's really stupid um Because now we can only do it for one, two, three, four. We can do it for one right now. So we have to actually play Snapcaster, target it, and then do it for three, which is just actual terrible. It does nothing. <sighs> it's really annoying. Meanwhile, actually, if we were able to do it for four, Jace wins us the game. Because we bounce this. Uh, attack them for four and deal them four. That's pretty hilarious. One, two. That's really. Oh, wait, do we have enough still? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, we still have enough, don't we? Am I just doing math terribly? I think we still. I think this still wins us the game because I, I didn't account for the four earlier. Your face for. For five. Put a Jason to play. This was a wow. I was just like not knowing how math works. Whew. That's wild, dude. Man, Electro Dominance has been overperforming for sure. So we have 11 lands 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I almost just want another land.
Yeah, all right. Two ponders and self revision. Like, let's just hit another land. Jace the Mind Sculptor, sure. Uh, I'll keep it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How much mana is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana on turn one. We just have nothing to do with it. Eh, it's wild. Let's play a land. Play a lotus. Play a mox. Play a mox. Use a mox. Play a vault. Pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That seems good. What's it? Someone carry added? You know, someone carry added me? Sure. Mirror Battle Sphere. One time. One time. Seven drop card. Mountain. I see. One, two, three. I think this is fine. If they tap out, we'll use Lotus. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Like the alternative is is play Mana Vault, and I don't really feel like untapping Mana Vault and having a deal less damage. So, I mean, if they sure, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, killed a Drake. Mm, sure, that's fine. You got it. I mean, I'm not going to mana drain that. It doesn't pose a threat to me. When we have a blocker now, so. Might even just win that race. Like, they attack for four, we attack for three, and they're at four less. Also, Electro Dominance, another card that would be amazing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just deal them 9. Treachery. <laughs> mm. Come on, Electro Dominance. Uh, Karn, or either of the two Mirror Battle Spheres. Or a Ponder to get them. That's 6 outs. Plus Jace. Even Jace is kind of an out here. Okay. That's one down. We can also just bounce our own guy right now, which is actually pretty decent. Might as well use all the mana that God gave you. They have two cards. We have a giant and an onboard Jace. I think that's pretty good. CTB, thank you for keeping us entertained tonight, man. I appreciate your support, buddy. Have a good night, my dude. I'm sure I'll see you later this week. Narset? Okay, well, let's not activate Jace, I guess. I guess we can just kill her. Mox Sapphire. Sure. Don't care about that. They're going to nine. It's got to be an Oko, right? Yeah, it's always an Oko. Can we just kill the Oko? Fascinating. 
Something big. Ponder is good. We do have to get rid of Narset in order to deal with Ponder. Narset. What is this? Exchanging control of an artifact or creature you control and target creature with the power of three or less. And Oko. Okay. They have one card. I'm pretty sure we can give them one turn. We just definitely want to get rid of Narset because, well, Jace and the other thing, so. I won't be going to bed. I'm in with you until the end of the I'm with you till the end of the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that's pretty good. We're probably just keeping Shark Typhoon in hand, right? Uh, put it on top of their. Uh, put Tropical on the bottom? No, you can keep that Trop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a five, five. Yep, that's pretty good. We do have two lands on top, so we get to see two new cards. Well, that's good, but that might be death. Okay, that's actually, that's game. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's really good. Are they attacking Jace? Yeah, that's game. Make a 5-5, five, five, we have 8 in the air, and they used Oko this turn. I think they should have gotten rid of our 3-3 three, three flyer, but... Oh my god! 2-0! That was wonderful. Let's see if there's anyone else in the queue, or if we're just going to play against Kiori a third time. 